20 Craziest Body Modifications Number 20 Oversized Septum Piercing Oversized septum piercings have been present in our world for a long time. They used to be used as a common image of status and tribes, and now they are used as a form of self-expression through body modification. While a septum this large may be exceedingly painful to certain individuals, it is an important part of their self-identity. Number 19. Bageling. This strange body modification first appeared in Canada. It is essentially a large amount of saline solution injected directly into the forehead and then it is formed into the shape of a bagel. It is very popular in Japan and it is not a permanent body modification and after about one day the saline is absorbed by the person's body. Number 18. Teeth sharpening. This is a form of body modification that has been around for a while. Although it has changed a bit since its inception, originally, when done by tribal people around the world, tooth sharpening involved the actual sharpening of their teeth. Nowadays, it is just a matter of permanent or not so permanent prosthetics. People have their teeth capped with sharp tips and glued. This is done to achieve a savage or animalistic look. Number 17, Scarification. Recently, people have been carving out the flesh on various parts of their body to create different styles of artwork. This type of body modification is similar to tattoos in that it is creating imagery on your own body. The difference is in the application of the process. Scarification is done with the scalpel or other sharp objects while tattoos are merely done with ink and needles. This may seem painful, and it is, but some beautiful artwork has been done in this matter. Number 16, Neck Elongation. This is another form of body modification that has been around for a very long time. Tribal people have been doing this for many generations. It is usually seen as a form of status or beauty in tribal communities. However, this type of body modification is permanent and potentially fatal. The act of this modification is done through adding rings over time to stretch the neck eventually past its normal limits. Once it is done, it's done. If these rings were ever removed, the neck would be so long, skinny, and drawn out that it would collapse under the weight of its own head that it carries. Number 15. Full Body Tattoos The act of fully tattooing your body is not as extreme as some of the body modifications on this list. It is, however, exceptionally beautiful and in most cases requires extreme craftsmanship in the trade of tattoo art. The people who have done this to their bodies are extremely dedicated individuals who are trying to express themselves through their image and the art on their bodies. Number 14. Eyeball Tattooing the act of tattooing one's eye may seem dangerous and extremely painful. And while it is both of those things, many people in the world do nonetheless. This body modification entitles the application of standard tattooing methods directly to the eyeball of a willing individual. And the result is two black voids where there were once eyes. Number 13. Corset Piercing the corset piercing is one of the most extreme body modifications. The goal of this body modification is to simulate the look of a corset on the bare skin of the back. This requires heavy duty piercing for piercing someone's thin back flesh and is one of the most complex body modifications. They have become somewhat popular in recent years among the alternative community and they have a certain style to them that is undeniably sophisticated. Number 12, Elven Ears. Some people want to be able to emulate their favorite fantasy characters and races with body modifications. And in recent years, people have been doing the elven ear body modification. Essentially, the ear is cut out on the edges and the wound is folded in and stitched together and when it's completely healed, the ears will look like they will do in this picture, pointed and elf-like. Number 11, body branding. The art of body branding is a relatively common modification in the world of body modifications. It involves the burning of flesh to leave artistic markings that are similar to tattoos, except they are made from the healed tissue instead of ink. Body branding can be dangerous according to doctors because of the severe risk of infection. So if you ever decide to get yourself branded, make sure it's a professional applying the heat. Number 10, nose removal. 
The man in the picture is named Emilio Gonzalez, and he is a Venezuelan body modifier which has particularly removed his nose to give off a look of a skull. He has blackened his eyes and has had forehead work done, but his nose removal is the most extreme modification. Why would he do it? Self-expression, of course. Being a professional body modifier, he has modified himself in ways that expresses who he is as a person. Number 9. Skull Implanting this one is pretty self-explanatory, but essentially what it is, is the implantation of a skull mold into various parts of the body. The man who does this is named Jason Tregeger, at least that's what I think the last name is, and he has taken body implants to another level. While it may look extremely painful, for Jason, it is a pinnacle of his self-expression, and he has implanted these skulls into his chest, back, and the back of both of his hands. Number 8. Stretch body piercings. While stretching out your lobes is very popular in the common world, stretching other parts of the body is less common, yet still prominent in the world of body modification. Some people have been known to stretch their nose like this woman in the picture, while others will stretch their cheeks or their lips, or all of the above. It is an extreme practice that is popular among many people in this day and age. Number 7. Transdermal spikes. Transdermal spikes are implants that jut out from the skin, and a man named Shannon Larat, and I think that's how you say his last name also, has done this successfully. These implants are quite extreme according to doctors. This is because the implants are sitting in open wounds, and that is practically like leaving the door open for infection. Nevertheless, these implants are an amazing example of creativity of body modifiers. Number 6. Lip Linking the act of lip linking can be done in many different ways. This picture is just one example. And in that example, you see the man who has linked his lips through five individual piercings and wire. This connects the lips together until the wire is removed for whatever reason. Number 5. Suspension Modifications Suspension mods are among the most extreme in the world. What this constitutes is multiple piercings are put all along the back and front of the modifier's body, and then they are allowed to heal. When the healed piercing holes are ready, the person will put hooks through these piercing holes, and then suspend themselves from ropes. While this may seem unbearably painful to outsiders, the actual practitioners of this art say it doesn't hurt as much as you would think. Number 4. Stretch Lobes Stretch lobes are very common in our world today. In some cases, they can be very tame, only stretched out to an inch or less. However, in some cases, people may stretch their lobes to be as large as 6 inches. This style has been very popular in our world, and this is one form of body modification that has certainly picked up momentum. While other types may be too extreme for some, they can find comfortability in this style due to its non-extremity. Number 3. The Sipper Piercing The Sipper Piercing is a pretty self-explanatory concept. It is a piercing that attaches to a split tongue, allowing it to be sippered. The purpose of this is purely cosmetic unless, perhaps, you have a tongue division. But you need to insip it for formal occasions such as job interviews and formal events. Number 2. Extensive Piercings Just like full body tattoos, some people may want to cover as much of their body in piercings as they can, like shown in this picture. This extensive piercing is one of the most extreme body modifications because the time and effort and pain that is put into all the piercings is extensive and the individual receiving them has to have a strong constitution and have high drive for self-expression even to consider undertaking the task. Number 1. The Human Lizard Eric Sprague has spent a significant portion of his life turning himself into a lizard man. He has had his entire body tattooed from head to toe, has had dermal work on his forehead, and has microchips implanted in his body. He has spent over 700 hours on these body modifications and much more, and he is more than proud of them. He considers his body mods a badge of honor, and he hopes to eventually have an internal compass implanted into his body. 